Okay, so I've lashed on now some more colours and now I want to keep them in their colour order. So I'm not going to move the paddle comb backwards and forwards. I'm going to keep it in the same place, times to times. Now I have to do that flick again. And you see how different that looks now. See, I've got my same, I've got my colour blocks mm -hmm. on this paddle comb. Okay. Take it back, top it down. See, I'm dropping it down in exactly the same place every time to try and keep those. So, will you try and aim to uh, distribute the uh, fibre evenly over both combs? That's what I'm trying to do now, yes. I'm trying to get more onto picking up some on this comb from this comb. I didn't lash onto both. I could have just lashed onto both, but I wanted to make sure the fibers are completely straight and aligned after I lashed on. Some of them got a bit curled around and bent because it's windy out here. So I'm just keeping those. I haven't got much static, I've just got more of the wind to contend with. But if I got static going on, then I would spritz the fibres, just to hold them together. There. So now what happens when I, when I spin, I'm going to go through the colour blocks and back again. Order. So I've got green as the first one on this paddle comb and green as the first one on that paddle comb. Okay, thank you. Okay, so now I've finished my paddle combs and I'm going to pack them away. So I need to pack them away safely. So I want to interlock those tines together so they don't damage each other or the wood. So now I'm just going to put the tines against tines and just push. Just enough to hold them just together. Just enough to hold them together so they actually stay together on okay. both sides. And that's what they look like. So once they go in the bag, once they're packed away, they're safe. They're not going to catch anyone, they're not going to damage each other. And they'll be ready for next time. So, we'll put those in the bag. And the bag comes with the paddle combs. I'm going to take out this part and take off the post. A long screw. Oh. Put the screw back onto the post so we don't lose it. If it was just put it loose in the bag, it could go walk about. So there is a special place for this post and that's right by where the drawstring is. If you go down a couple of inches there's a special sleeve. Like a, like a pocket? It's a sleeve. Just It's open at the other end and it just drops into there. And then we put our seat Okay. Yep, and there we are. Ready for another day. Safe and secure. Great. Thank you.